Hello guys, today is June 23rd, 2015, Tuesday. We had pretty much like a downpour thunderstorm this morning. But here what I'm bringing you today is uh, how to remove suckers off of your corn. <clears throat> Use your corn plant right here, nice and tall. It's way, about waist high now. Depends on how tall you are really. But this right here is a sucker. This is here. Here is a sucker. It's like another whole corn shoot, but coming off the base of the other corn. So what you do is just bend that back and pull it out, break it off. And there you go. You got a sucker removed. Here's another one. Pull that. Remove it. We also got the update. I guess we'll add the update onto it. Corn's looking pretty nice. The uh, new stuff. The Almost new stuff, I guess you could call it. Looking a little yellow. I haven't, it's been raining constantly. I haven't been able to fertilize it with the miracle Grow stuff. Bamboo's getting overwhelming. It's a lot to, un, a lot to handle. It's really overwhelming over there. I don't think I'm going to have corn over there that's here. Or against the back wall. Probably bit off more than I can chew. Starting to show. This section here is looking pretty good. We did it uh, just before I started this video, and it's about thigh high, I guess. I'm 5'10", 5'9", 5'10". Actually, I'm 5'8". I believe I'm 5'8". So my license, my permit says, and I've had my permit since December, and I don't think I grew that much. But this, basically, we were able to load of weeds and stuff I pulled out just before. I started this video in this row here and the other row right next to it. Just those two rows and a little bit on these two corn here. These are still looking like my healthiest corn. I really need to get blood meal. I want to paint my tractor really bad too. Go to Tractor Supply Co. Get some school bus yellow. Probably get a quarter school bus yellow. want to match the paint that's on this differential there instead of this crappy John Deere yellow. And yes it says IH there. That was a sticker the previous owner stuck over. The axle is painted white, it's supposed to be yellow. The fenders are white, they're supposed to be yellow. Everything else that's white was supposed to be yellow. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and get the Tractor Supply brand Magic. Get a quart of school bus yellow and get like a half pint or the smallest container of John Deere yellow and mix them together. Uh, hopefully I can get the paint colors to match. And I'll paint this thing first and pull the engine out of it. Probably have to pull the, the screws off and put on there. Um, actually I'll probably paint over them and not galvanize anything. And just start to rust. Pull the engine out. Pull the fuel tank off. Probably to get to the engine. Got some wires to pull out. Unhook. I'll probably leave that just. I don't know if I want to paint over that or if I want to mask that off. Pull the, these covers out here. Grill covers and stuff. Pull that off. Probably sand that. Get that nice and smooth. Paint the engine separately, put it back in with the new oil pan, which I got right here. The other one starts just leaking. It's cast aluminum, it sounds like. You got the four mounting bolts, one right here that goes into frame. If you can see it. Right there's a frame mount, there's another frame mount here. They're threaded. You go under the frame. There, C channel, and then the engine is bolted onto these four, and then there's threads in the block. That came with the machine, I didn't have to pay extra for them. If you follow my videos, you, you understand that earlier I had a problem with the steering, so I pulled, I'm not pulling that off, I'll just mask over it and hopefully, and ho well, hope for the best. 
Probably sand the hood. It has some dents in it. You can't really tell because this is so dingy. Paint, white paint's fading. Got scratches in the hood from the hood ornament. Scraping back and forth. Probably take the hood ornament off. Bond all these little holes that are sticking out. Have bonded this here where we welded the washer on when it broke. Pull the wheels off. I don't know if I want to uh, mask these off or and paint them, uh, paint everything while they're masked, or if I want to paint them yellow, then paint them black. And mask that off, off, of course, I don't know how to take that off. I don't want to learn how to take it off either. But the wheels I'll pull off, I'll paint the axle on these nut, those lug bolts and stuff, paint them the factory yellow, pull the seat off, this pin, pull this pin out. And that's how it's going to look, I guess. I'm going to repaint the wheels. White color. I don't know if it's an actual white or if it's a cream color. I'm trying to get it to look nice. And after I'm done painting that thing, I'm not going to spend so much time on these, but I'm going to put the board, finish the, putting the boards on this. I have the little brackets here, bars like these ones here put boards on that one paint that to match my tractor and paint the cultivator to match also well, that looks like it's about it for today <clears throat> oh yeah I got a fourth thing I'll paint this plow too to match this thing this that looks like it's about it thanks for watching please subscribe Add any comments. Greatly appreciate it. And of course, have a nice day. Catch me on the next video. Bye bye.